Really Beautiful and Welcome to Makeup. I forgot I washed them last night. And I want to film today, so... <laughs> This kind of content isn't new to the internet. Essentially, it's a get ready with me whilst I chat about the things that I want to chat about. Uh, but I decided to call it Water Cooler Convo Makeup because she wants to be quirky. She wants to be unique. Water Cooler Convo Makeup because it's kind of like when you're supposed to be working, but instead you're standing around the water cooler having a cheeky little chat, having a cheeky little gossip with all your work friends. So recently I've been doing a lot of videos where I talk about a lot of harsh, intense people, stories, situations and essentially giving my analysis. Uh, so I decided that I wanted to do something a teeny bit different. But I fresh the palette, I have a cute little beat, a cute little breath as I hype up an absolute legend. I'm still blown away by this. I just, I'm so excited for this video. I'm in a good mood, what can I say? If you have been living under an absolute rock over this last week, you would not have seen the photo shoot. And when I say the photo shoot, I mean like T H E D photo shoot. P H O T O S H O O T. <clears throat> Smashed it. You haven't seen the photo shoot. The photo shoot and the interview between Billie Eilish and Vogue. <gasps> like, no joke, it actually made my day. It was just so good. And it's so good on so many different levels. And it's not just the photo shoot itself that is just absolutely iconic. It's also the interview that goes with it because I, you girl, as I said, your girl loves researching and I, I analyzed the photos. I read through the interview. I, I analyzed the interview as well. And I just, it's just a gorgeous moment. Like just an absolute moment. Ding. Oh my gosh. My friend just messaged me because they know that I'm filming this video. Oh, just apparently there's another photo. I thought there was only four. We've been blessed with a fifth. Oh, today's such a good day. That is, I think I've recovered. Either way, I wanted to do a cheeky little analysis of the photo shoot itself, but also the interview that goes with it. So I will be discussing very briefly some of the more intense kind of topics still, but at the same time, all of it is just with absolute praise and admiration of Billy and just how she handles herself. Yes, she gets a lot of positivity, but also she gets so much BS in the world. I don't think my thought process with all of this is gonna be as cohesive as usual, but you know what, we're gonna have a fun time anyway. I'm gonna talk about the interview that goes with the photo shoot last because I think it is probably the most important discussion point. So I'm gonna leave that little bit to last, but for the moment, let's do the analysis of the photos themselves, just in case you haven't seen them. Brace yourselves, they're coming at you in three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. And the cheeky surprise fifth, boom. Are they just not gorgeous? Literally, I saw these photos like maybe three or four days ago now and I, it just, instantly I was just like breath stolen, mesmerized, hypnotized, or just, I think they're just so good. Can you tell? I'm pretty sure I've said that like 30 times in the video already and we're probably only like two minutes in, but can you tell that I really like these photos? But I like the photos for like so many different reasons. Like, yeah, it's Billy and I, I genuinely enjoy Billy. I'm a fan of Billy. So yes, there is going to be a lot of bias in this video because I like her, so sorry about it. But I enjoy the photos as a shoot, not just because it's Billy, but also the set design, the clothes, the color composition. I just, I love all of it. It's they're a really good collective piece. But anyone who knows me personally or has watched my channel for a while knows that I have a real like absolute love and admiration for fashion and beauty. It's not just makeup for me. Over the years, I have tried to teach myself how to sew and I've sewn a few garments or two, but at the same time, I could never construct, like at this point in time, I could never construct anything to the same kind of level of what Billy is wearing in these photos. I, I, I wish, but it's not, no. Just no. In complete transparency, my first reaction to the photo shoot itself was just the most bogan, holy fuck, you have ever... <laughs> You've ever heard in your life. 
a girl grow up in the West. What do you want? <laughs> Ah, but my overall thoughts of the shoot can be summed up pretty well by just that, in all honesty. The overall photo shoot itself definitely has one of the saucy, old-school Hollywood vibes to it, which, like, she's a classic for a reason. We keep going back to it because it's just, it's, it's just fun to go back and do something like that because there's just something so, like... I don't know what it is. There's just something about old school Hollywood, like the vibe of it, not the, like, the aesthetic of it, not the other stuff of it, but there's just something about classic Hollywood that is just a timeless kind of look. But this aesthetic was achieved by using all aspects of the photo, whether it was Billy's hair, Billy's makeup, Billy's ensembles, her garments, the set design, the color composition, all of it was used to get this aesthetic. The level of cohesion in each individual photo, but also the level of cohesion in the, all of the photos as a whole is just something that I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed spotting two motifs. Your girl loves motifs. The two motifs that I was able to spot was definitely the corsets because she was wearing a corset in each and every photo but also the use of blush tones in each photo. Granted, there were different varieties of blush tones, but also there were still blush tones nonetheless, and they could be spotted in every single photo. So they were able to tie all the photos together using clothes, but also using the color composition, which I... But even though the photo shoot itself was definitely inspired by old school Hollywood, it was really fun to be able to spot a few bits and pieces that were brought in from today's fashion. You had the latex gloves, the latex stockings, even, even Billy's nails. She has these like long, square, blunt nails, which I'm sorry, I don't see Grace Kelly wearing those. So it's really fun to see bits and pieces from today's fashion brought into these photos, even though it's an old school style photo shoot, just to make it more relevant. I just really enjoy seeing that level of contrast between like old school fashion and new school fashion in the same photo but still managing to make it make it cohesive make it make sense make it feel like it's not out of place even though we're putting latex and like strong blunt nails in a photo that is inspired by an era where those definitely wouldn't have been worn i love a bit of contrast focusing on the garments themselves it's definitely the corsets that catches the person's eye first yes i'm probably speaking for myself but when i saw the photos literally my eye went straight to the corsets they uh they're a motif they're a good focal point so it makes sense that our eyes go straight straight to that corset. Also, it's something incredibly different for what Billy wears. And the level of detail and intricacies in each corset is absolutely breathtaking to me. I've tried to make a few corsets in my day. They end up looking like trash, but they... I just... The corsets were so good. And definitely for a few different reasons. It's very obvious that each ensemble, each garment, each piece that Billy is wearing has been customized specifically for her. It has been made for her because it fits her to perfection. So looking at every photo and not being able to see a single piece where I'm just like, oh, that looks a little bit baggy or like, oh, that looks a little bit tight. I see none of that. And yes, even though I would expect when it comes to a Vogue photo shoot for every single piece to be customized for the person that they were shooting, at the same time, sometimes mistakes are made. I see none in this. But also each corset is just so, so different. And it isn't just the color or the fabric that each corset is using. It's also the boning. It's also just the style of each corset. Some of the corsets go down to her hips, whereas some of them just come like just below her ribs. So it's, they're also just different corsets. Also the boning on the nude one loops down around her belly button and comes right back up. All of the other ones seem to just be going straight down. So that's also a really nice detail to see. But even though it's obvious that they've been constructed differently, somehow they all still give her a very similar, if not the same shape. And that's what I mean by they must've been constructed for her because they still have the same shape, even though they've all been constructed differently. So they had to have been made for her for each individual corset to fit her like that. Even not make sense in my head doesn't mean I'm communicating it properly. But even the embellishments on each of the corsets is individual and is different. So on the pink one, you have like the buckles at the front. On the black one, you have symmetrical top lacing on each side of the hips, which is also a really cute thing to see. Um, one of them is just plain a nude with a bit of a, like a brooch looking thing. I don't know, it was kind of cool to see like intricacies and then one that even though it's intricate, it's still quite simple in execution anyway. Like. 
she's understated, but she's a good understatement. And on the other pink corset, there's all these bits of lace. There's a lot more, I guess, layers of fabric added to it, which is kind of cool to add a bit more extra detail. But also there's some extra top stitching around the bust, which reminds me of historical corsets. I think they're called stays. I'll add a photo here, but it kind of reminds me of that when it comes to the bust, which I think is also a really cute, just extra detail to just differentiate it and just to add a bit more. And as for the fifth photo that I only just found out existed, it's the only corset that seems to have an extra panel of fabric on the bottom acting like a skirt, but it also seems to be the only corset that is front laced instead of back laced. So extra details there as well. Make an individual, but still fitting her like a glove. Like literally the corsets fit her just as good as the latex gloves she's wearing in one of the photos. I could literally talk for hours about each individual photo and about each individual stitch and about each individual piece of clothing that she's wearing in every single one of the photos because I just, I love fashion, I love photography, I love makeup, I love beauty, I just, I love all of that. I could literally talk for hours on it. The reason I love fashion and beauty so much, but I guess this works more so when it comes to fashion, but it's still relevant to the beauty side of things as well. The reason why I love it so much is to me, it's just a puzzle. All of it's just a puzzle, but you get to decide the pieces. If you think about it, you have an item of clothing, you have the different pieces, you stitch them together, and then you have the overall masterpiece. With a puzzle, you have the pieces, you stick them together, and then you have the overall masterpiece. And it's just fun to be able to choose what puzzle pieces you want. And also it's kind of fun to work backwards. It's fun to sit there and be like, here's what I want, how do I get there? It's why I love it so much because there's just so much freedom in fashion and freedom in beauty. And I finally bought like an actual eye pencil sharpener instead of like a pencil sharpener. Cause I think that's why my eye pencils always go to trash so fast. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. I'm a moron. <laughs> but in my mind, the most important thing and the most important reason why I love this shoot so much is because of Billy herself. The level of confidence and badassery that I see in these photos is contagious. I saw those photos and I felt like a badass bitch. I was like, yes, look at me go, mom. I wasn't even wearing the stuff. There's not even me in the photo and I'm sitting there being like, yeah, I got power. Hear me roar. Like, it just <laughs> Because even though in the interview itself, Billy is quite open about some of her insecurities, uh, her body being one of them, I, I don't see that in the photos whatsoever. I see someone who is confident. I see someone who knows their worth. And if anyone tries to question that, she ain't gonna take their shit and she's gonna put them in their place. That's what I see in these photos. I don't see any kind of level of insecurity. That's not saying it isn't there. I'm just saying that from these photos, if she didn't say it in the interview, I wouldn't have known. She's wearing the clothes. The clothes are not wearing her. And when I was growing up and even till quite recently, only like, a year ago the the saying of they're wearing the clothes the clothes aren't wearing them always it always confused me i was like what does that even mean though like, like what are you trying to say what is i hear the words but i don't know what can you put that in a sentence and define it for me but i found the phrase odd when I didn't understand what confidence was in general and when I didn't understand what confidence was for me specifically. I didn't, I, I don't think I'd ever felt confident in my life until quite recently. I, which is sad, but also I'm feeling quite happy with some of the confidence that I've been able to gain and some of the confidence that I've been able to find and the little bits and pieces I've learned that I've been able to give myself confidence with. So now that I understand that phrase specifically for me, I can look at these kinds of photos and I can sit there and be like, yes, this, this is someone who is not defined by the clothes that they are wearing. This is just someone who is doing this because they want to and get it. Like, this is what makes you happy, get it. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, have fun, you've worked hard, you deserve it, get it, yes! And as I said before, seeing someone who's confident is absolutely contagious to me. I use it to motivate myself because I want to be like that. I want to be able to walk into a room and be like, yes, I own this. This is my moment, I own this, and I'm going to enjoy it, and I'm going to enjoy myself, and nothing is going to pull me down. Nothing is going to take this away from me. I want to be able to face the world, know my worth, know my shit, and if anyone, anyone dares have an issue with it, bye. <laughs>
But that's it for the photo shoot itself. Please let me know what you think down in the comments because maybe you've seen a bit of the puzzle piece that I just haven't seen yet. And I would be fascinated to know, one, your opinion overall, but two, what what puzzle pieces are you seeing? Because I, I want to see all of them. I want to see all, I want to see every single stitch. I want to know every single fabric that went into making this. I want to know everything. And if you see something that I don't see, please let me know because I want to see it. I can't talk and do eyeliner at the same time. I've tried for years, I've filmed videos for years and it's just not a thing. As for the interview and the responses to the photos themselves, this is where it gets a little bit heavier in all honesty, but at the same time, still absolute praise to Billy and I I have I have no negativity towards Billy. I only have praise, I only have admiration, I only have respect. I'm a big fan. I enjoy her not just as a musician and an artist, but I also just enjoy her as a person. But it starts to get a bit heavier because this photo shoot and this interview did bring up the topics of body positivity and feminism. These topics can get a bit touchy because there are so many opinions out there and so many of them just clash. These topics are discussed throughout the interview itself by Billy, but also the person interviewing her, but also the person that wrote the article on her in Vogue. But also there has been a lot of debate brought up after the fact, after the interview and the photo shoot was released. Because Billy is being called a hypocrite and she is being body and slut shamed. Because stupidity. But she's also being called out for changing. Personally, I see nothing wrong with change or seeking out change. Change, yes, can be extremely daunting, but also for me at least, it's definitely a necessary part of life. If you don't change in your day to day, if you live every single day the exact same way, there is no growth, there is no evolution, there is, it's just gonna be exactly the same and you are going to be exactly the same. And pers that's just not, that's just not how I ever want to live. And yes, for some, that may be how they want to be. That may be how they want to live their life. And you know what? That's okay because it's up to every individual person to do what's best for themselves. But for me personally, I I need change. I seek out change. I, I crave change sometimes. When I don't have change, sometimes I feel like I'm a hostage in my own life, which it's a very me thing and that's okay. And it's something that I've grown to accept and it's something that I've learned to adapt with, if that makes sense. Because sometimes I have to sit there and be like, am I changing because I need it? Or am I changing because I'm afraid? Or am I not changing because I'm afraid? There's a lot that goes into, for me specifically, finding the healthy kind of change and going about it in a healthy way instead of running because I'm afraid of staying stagnant, if that makes sense. But from what I've read in the interview and also from what I know of Billy, her and I seem to be quite similar in the way that we're happy to go with the flow, but also we're happy to seek out change if we need it or we think it is the best decision for ourselves. But in saying this, she changed her style for one shoot. Like, it was just one photo shoot. I understand that she dyed her hair, so no longer with the green and the black anymore, but at the same time, this styling is just for one shoot. Maybe it will be her style from now on, but at the same time, it's just been this one shoot so far, and it's, it's just a lot. <laughs> one photo shoot. Oh my God, she's a completely different person. Like, no, it's not, it's not, it's not how it works. Like, if she keeps doing it, go for gold, fam. Like, if that's what you want to do, go for gold. But at the same time, she's done it for one shoot so far, and everyone's losing their freaking minds. But in the interview, and from what I know of Billy, she's only ever been the kind of person to preach, do whatever makes you happy, do what you want to do, and if someone has a problem with it, fuck them. It's not your problem, it's their problem because you are doing right by you and that's all that matters and doing right by you is what you should be doing. Granted, don't do it in a way where you're gonna hurt people in the process. Like if doing right by you is kicking a puppy in the face, don't do that. At this point, I think I'm over explaining. I'm definitely over explaining, but you get the general idea of it. Do what makes you happy because that's what you should be doing because you need to put yourself first. And if someone has a problem with it, goodbye. There 
is the door. She wore the baggy aesthetic, her baggy clothes, for quite a long time and unknowingly popularized it. I don't think that was her intention, but she did popularize the baggy clothes trend. But she didn't do it to be a trend. She did it because that's what made her comfortable, because that's what made her happiest. She took away the opportunity for the world and the media to judge her and to sexualize her at such a young age. And that's what made her comfortable. That's what made her happiest. But she does make comments in the Vogue interview about how this message has been manipulated and miscommunicated in a way that it's been used to shame other women in the music industry who choose to wear clothes that are a little bit more body showing and skin showing. These odd miscommunications and manipulations are in all honesty disgusting at times. Weaponizing what makes Billy feel comfortable as a way to tear down other women in the music industry, which is definitely not what Billy is about. She chose to wear the baggy clothes for quite a while because it's what made her comfortable and it's what made her happiest. She chose to do this photo shoot and in the Vogue interview she specifies why she wanted to wear the corsets. So she may have, in all honesty, been the person to be like, hey, I want to wear a corset for this. Because it's what made her feel comfortable and it's what made her feel happiest. Billy's vibe has always been that she can do exactly whatever she wants to do. And if she doesn't want to do it, she ain't doing it. And that's exactly what she's been doing up until this photo shoot. And that's exactly what she did do in this photo shoot. She changed her clothes, yes, but she didn't change her motives. So the hypocrisy argument to me, in all honesty, is just dumb. The interview itself goes into so much detail on so many different topics. Topics, including body positivity, body insecurities, abuse, misuse, and the imbalance of power in the music industry and in the media in general. And I, in all honesty, I can't do justice to the interview by summarizing it and paraphrasing it in this video. So I strongly recommend and encourage everyone goes off and reads the interview for themselves because reading and hearing Billy's point of view is in all honesty a fascinating one. The reason I highlighted the points made about her significant change of style is just because I wanted to rebuttal the hypocrisy argument and I wanted to rebuttal the body shaming and slut shaming argument because as I said before, dumb. So read the article if you want to, if you don't want to, that is a-okay, but personally it was five minutes of my life that I really enjoyed wasting reading it. Ultimately the photos look incredible. They look stunning. She looks incredible. She looks amazing. She looks so confident. She looks like a badass. I, as I said, I could rant on for hours. I'm pretty sure that I have ranted on for hours at this point. And as I specified before, yes, I do have some positive bias towards Billy because I genuinely enjoy her as an artist, but also as as a person. But for me personally, this is just a fun moment in history. It's a fun moment in Billy's history, in Vogue's history, but in five years time I'll probably forget that these photos even happened. Because she is more than just these photos. She's more than the clothes she's wearing, the way her hair styled, the way that her makeup is. But all people seem to be talking about is what these photos mean on a grand scheme of things. What they mean for body positivity, what they mean for slut shaming and body shaming, what they mean for feminism, if Billy's changed or not. And it's like, like, really? Have y'all missed the point? Billy has autonomy. She's allowed to do what she wants to do and she's allowed to wear what she wants to wear. And that's all she's ever preached and all she's ever talked about. Her music, her commentary, her voice, and what she does with the power that she knows that she has is what I remember Billy by. Is why I like her so much because she is such a grounded human being amongst all the fame that she has. And to just look at the clothes and from that be like she has changed is just so surface level and is quite an injustice to all the things that are talked about in the Vogue interview that are so powerful and so necessary to talk about. With this it's the Vogue interview that I'm going to remember more. The clothes as I said are a fun moment in history but her commentary is timeless. For someone as young as Billy is I have so much respect for her. If you couldn't tell from this video, I just have so much respect for Billy because I know that I would have crumbled under the pressure that is her fame. But she never ceases to rise above the BS that the media is constantly throwing at her. Yes, there is a lot of praise, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, the amount of BS that is thrown at her for someone who is still a teenager is in insane to me. But yet she still manages to power through it with incredible intelligence and just beautiful wit. Her look has changed for this photo shoot, yes, but she is so much more than just this photo shoot. But JJ, if she's so much more than these photos, why are you making a whole entire video centered around these photos? Simply put, I hope that by making this video, I bring light to the interview that goes along with these photos that seemingly has gone overlooked and underestimated in the media at the moment. And as I've said a few times in this video, I think the interview has some incredible points, some important points, and it's just a really good read. And have I possibly missed the mark? 
Yes. To finalise all of my thoughts, she is more than this photo shoot. She is more than the clothes that she is wearing. She is more than her hair, her makeup, the corsets. She's more than that. And I will forever remember Billy by her intelligence, her beautiful wit, her music, her voice, her commentary, and her opinions. That is everything. Oh, I always feel exhausted after filming, but it's like a good, satisfying exhausted. I think that's why I just want to slump back in my chair every single time. But please let me know what you think. I, as I said before, I want to know what puzzle pieces you possibly have seen in the photos that I haven't seen. I want to know your opinions on the photos, your opinions on the interview, if you have read it or you are going to read it. I just, I want to know your thoughts. I, your girl loves to learn. And as I've said in so many of these videos, one of the best ways that I can learn is to learn from you guys, is to learn from your perspectives, your thoughts, and grow as a person. So please let me know what you think of the photos, the interview, just all of it. But also let me know what you think of my face. Because even though I think the photo shoot that she did is stunning and I love it, I thought that whilst we're celebrating this look that she is debuting, we could still celebrate the old Billy vibe. Uh, also, I haven't taken the opportunity to use my UV shadow palette before. So I really, I really just, I want to... The opportunity was there, so I took it, and I am loving it. She's just... Oh my god, it's a UV... I don't have a black light. Oh, there it is. Okay, if I... Does this... <gasps> oh my god! Ow! Oh, I never want to take this off. Oh, fight me right now. Fight me right now. Are you... Oh my god, the pigment. Are you seeing this? This better come up in the video as well as this is coming up in person because this is... I... Why have I never used this palette before? I'm an idiot. I am so excited for the next few videos that I'm going to be doing. Beauty Community Part 2 is on its way. I think I'm like 80% through the research. So like, she's getting there slowly. <laughs> so please let me know what you think of my face. Please let me know what you think of these eyeshadows and what kind of looks you might want to see using this eyeshadow palette because I want to be neon. I want to light up like Christmas. But I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you enjoyed what is probably going to be 35 minutes of me praising the ground that Billie Eilish walks on, but hopefully in a healthy way. But also let me know what you want me to talk about, because maybe there's some stories out there that I just haven't seen yet. But until next time, my loves, I hope that you are having a fantastic day, a fantastic week, a fantastic month, a fantastic year, and I hope that you are doing as fantastic as always. Bye everyone! Whoop!